What's going on? It's Kevin Mano on the balcony at My FM with Ryan and Jimmy from Picture This. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks Thank for having us. All the way from Ireland. Yes. How, how long have you been in Los Angeles right now? Uh, we've been in Los Angeles for like a week. A uh, week? Yeah, around a week. Yeah, we were and you had a show last night, a sold-out show. Sold-out yes. show. It was great. Was it really? Yeah, it was good. It's well great for us to um, like play a show in America. Obviously, no matter where we play, there's a lot of Irish like the, the expats will come out and see. But it was great for us to see so many Americans in the room. Yeah, which, which is always cool. a good sign. I think it's testament to like the song being on radio now and, and stuff like that. Yeah, and is there something special about a show in Los Angeles opposed to you know any other city? Yeah, there is, and it's it's just kind of like what I what I just said. Anywhere we go, there's lots of virus, which is a great yeah. thing. Yeah, but it's great for us to actually see that we're we're making headway I in the states, and it's it's not just Irish people coming totally. out to see us. It's, it's a great sign for us. Good for you. And what do you guys like to do when you're when you're in Los Angeles? We do a lot of um, creative stuff when we're here because it's it's such a beautiful place. So we do a lot of like videoing and, and we shoot a lot of content and we do some recording and um, we just kind of soak in the sun because there's not a lot of sun in Ireland. Yeah. How's this? I mean, this is a nice day out here, but it's been a little chill, like 50s, 60s for us. That's cold. Yeah, it was chilly. It was chilly the last couple of nights, wasn't it? It was. It's been cold the last couple of nights, but a day like today for us, it would be considered a summer day at okay. home. Yeah. yeah. So... I I I get sunburned, <laughs> <laughs> this, you know, which is tough. But it's wear sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, do you guys go out at night then? I mean, it sounds like you're working hard, but are you also, you know, taking advantage of our nightlife? We do. Uh, we we do like a couple of nights. Okay. So if we're, if we're here for like a week, we'll do like a couple of nights. It's mostly just kind of dinner, but like at nighttime as well, we we tend to do some some filming. Yeah. We, we love to make the most of it while we're here. And, and have you made friends here? Do you have certain people that you, you yeah, hang out with? Yeah, we do. We have, like, um, there's there, talking about Irish people, there's a couple of Irish guys we know out here, and we did uh, this latest record we did with Jason DeZuzio, who lives out here, and uh, we always try and meet up with them as much as we can. But I think a lot of the time we are just working. Yeah. Um, this is such a stupid aside, but uh, thinking about, you know, hanging out with Irish people and stuff, I love darts i like to play darts i like to throw darts oh yeah. and i know that i can always find dartboard in an irish pub <laughs> why is that i don't know i think darts is quite a, a uk thing isn't it but yeah. we love darts in ireland too do you I, i've never seen a dartboard over here i don't think <laughs> no there you go to an irish <laughs> pub and you'll, you'll find them that's where they always are yeah uh the the new song is called one drink what are your drinks of choice when you go out i like jack daniels and coke okay yeah i d i don't like any alcohol really i kind of enjoy it but red wine for me red is the is only great. kind of drink i like Hmm. So yeah, you just, you're not a beer guy or anything like that. I I do drink, but I just I don't like it as much as like red wine is like I I'll actually enjoy drinking red wine. So yeah, yeah. Um, so the two of you guys started the band, and it's kind of a strange thing. You've got two other guys hanging out over here. I see pictures of the four of you all the time, but then every once in a while I'll see you described as a duo. Yeah, the the duo thing kind of came when we started off the band. It was just kind of us in the photos, and it was just kind of a thing where we said we'll we'll do it as a duo because we. When the band started, we recorded everything and played every instrument. And yeah. And then when it we had to put on some live shows, we had to get a band together, obviously. Yeah. So we got our, our two best friends, Owen and Cliff, and uh, then it just kind of went into a four-piece. And but the the boys have been there from the start. It's always been the okay. four of us. Okay. Gotcha. And how did you two sort of put this together? I posted a song, um, the song that kind of brought us together as a band, "Take My Hand." I posted it on Facebook on my own personal page, and Jimmy uh, saw it. We're from the same town. And Jimmy saw it, and he has his own recording studio. Did you know each other at that point? We knew of each other. Okay. We, I don't think we'd ever really talked. Um, Jimmy's a couple of years older than me. We were never in the same friend groups. We were in the same school. Um, I kind of knew Jimmy as the amazing drummer, as everybody knew him yeah. as in, in school. Um, and Jimmy uh, yeah, saw, the saw the song I posted and asked me to come out to the studio. And then we recorded the song, and we released it. And it just kind of exploded, and we were kind of forced into being a band. We didn't really have any... Wow. Any, any kind of goals or anything at that point. So it happened really fast. It really fast. And did, at that point, did the sort of the you know the chemistry and the songwriting did it click? It just worked. It, it just, just kind of poured out of you guys. Yeah, it clicked instantly, and it's been a constant flow ever since then. And now, what I guess it's kind of a weird question, but if you had to put a mission statement on the band or a, the, a message that you're trying to get across with the music, what what does the band sort of stand for? What's what? the theme? Um. Wow. That's that's a very tough question because I suppose. Like the music that we're making is the is the type of music that we would want to hear. Okay. You know, and it's 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 funny in this day and age that like there's not a lot of music that is uh, that is promoting the simpler things in life that uh, that are positive in a way. You know, like hmm. it's it's uh, I suppose our songs are very relatable. Yeah. Um, Give me like an example of a simpler thing 
like even like the relationship between two people, you know, in the most simplest form. But when it's just said the right way, it can it can have a magic about it, you know. And there's a lot of songs that that nowadays that come out that are you can't picture yourself in that situation. They're talking about going to LA parties on the hills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who gets to do that? Like not a lot of people. Right. You know, and I I know that's a that's a vague reference, but <laughs> it's 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 I think our songs are just very personal. Sure. And personable. I That's think. cool. And the new album is coming out uh, early in the year, right? Yes. Yeah, modern Love is that the name? Modern Love. Yeah. But all the vowels have been removed. <laughs> they have because um, <laughs> it was it was a modern thing to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> vowels are out. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And th- I know the fans are uh, are thirsty for the new album. Uh, you know, do you ever go on like YouTube or something and read the comments uh, and under a video or something? Yeah, we do. We and just uh, I think the Twitter and Instagram are great for interacting with the fans because we we literally read every comment and every tweet and we try and like and reply to as much as we can, and. Um, YouTube comments, I try and tend to stay away from. Actually. Why is that? Uh, dark place. It's a dark place. You know I mean, the actually. internet in general, comments, message yeah. boards oh on the yeah. internet are uh, sort of a dark place. Yeah, I don't know why. I just uh, I don't really think of going on YouTube. I go and look and see how many views we have and yeah. and, and stuff like that. But yeah, we talk to our fans all the time on like Twitter and Instagram. And That's Facebook cool. And I mean, social media is important for any you know artist these days. And you guys, you know, if it wasn't for Facebook, you wouldn't even be a band. For so. sure. That's yeah. Exa- yeah. That's exactly true. Yeah. Um, and I last year on my every year I will put together like a. Christmas playlist to play around the house, and I had this Christmas on my oh playlist last year, and it's yeah still yeah. on this year. I love oh that song. Nice. Is that an original Christmas song? That's an original Christmas That's song. That's awesome. Yeah, I remember uh, writing it, and I sent it to Jimmy. I sent Jimmy a message, and I said, I think I just wrote a Christmas song. And, and he was, was like, like, oh. <laughs> he was like, oh. Send Wait, it. Why do you, what do you mean I think I wrote a Christmas song? You weren't, <laughs> it's called This it Christmas. It is called This Christmas. <laughs> but I, I, I wasn't sure whether I should actually send it or not. I was like, we can't do a Christmas song, can we? It was like the fourth song we ever wrote as well. Really? Yeah, it was like, should we do a Christmas song? But then it, it, the thing about it is it's a, it's a nice sentimental Christmas song. It's not a yeah. cheesy, not that there's anything wrong with that. But but then it seems like it sort of caught on and it sort of spread yeah. all over the place. I saw it on you know various websites and stuff last year on different playlists yeah, and I put it, it on my own. Yeah, it, it, it exploded. I think it, there's a nice sentiment in the song that people are kind of looking for and there's not many modern day Christmas songs. Yeah. And um, I think people just kind of latched on to that. Well, you guys should take that. Honestly, all of that is like a huge compliment because not every, there are a million bands out there and they don't all put a song online and it spreads and explodes and then another one and the same thing. Yeah. So people are obviously connecting with your sound and what you guys are doing and the songs you're writing. So keep it up. Thank you. I'm, uh, Thank I'm happy you. to have you here and I look forward to, to what's next for Picture This. Thanks, Thanks guys. Much. Thank, Thank you. you.